Hi guys, this is Nina and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick video to talk about two of my loves that have recently combined Scentsy and Disney. You may have seen in some of my videos before the Scentsy waxes that I have in my shelf. They're called wax melts and the wax melts are used in what some would call a tart burner, a flameless candle, a wax burner. Scentsy likes to call them wax warmers so they don't use the word burnt because the idea is you're eliminating that risk of fire, flames burning <laughs> by using a Scentsy warmer. So, recently they have collaborated with Disney and now we can get Disney themed products and scents and I wanted to smell some of them with you. So, the first one I'm going to open up is Ariel. I'm actually going to look up her fragrance so this way I can see if I'm getting all those uh, scent nodes or whatnot. Is that a word? Nodes? Nodes? No, I, I think so. Nodes? Am I using it right? I don't know. I'm not sh I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. Scentsy Wax Bars. These are $6.50 each. And I am a Scentsy rep, which is how I got these. Um, some friends of mine are placing an order, so I had to get this in two. This scent is called Under the Sea. True love awaits, so give chase and follow your heart across oceans of emerald water, crisp green apple, and blue hibiscus. So let's see how this smells. When you open it up, it's going to look like this. Oh, this is very fresh. Hmm. Oh, it's definitely something that would be nice for even like, it's laundry-esque. Yeah, I could smell it. Yeah, so you see the back here, you would break off at least two pieces and you would then place it in the warmer and that smell will radiate throughout your home. So this one is definitely a winner. Next we have Just Keep Swimming. Just Keep Swimming. What adventure calls, make it an experience to remember as blue ocean mist, cucumber water, yeah, and is. salted driftwood cheer you on. Well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> this is like a more masculine take on the Little Mermaid one. Do you want to smell it, Tom? <laughs> oh, I like right? it. How would you, it's almost. Um, I like it. It definitely has that oceany feel. Yeah. But there's just I don't know. Um, I guess it's the driftwood of what they described is right. what I'm feeling. So next I purchased the 100 Acre Wood. So I'm particularly excited about this with the Christopher Robin movie just coming out. And the graphic is just so cute. Can you see that? Yep. So grab you your favorite it. hand and wander through the friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, <laughs> wild jasmine, and sweet cozy vanilla. So this sounds like a cup of cocoa. This mm. sounds like something warm and delicious. Ooh, it is. It's very cozy. Very, it's a good fall scent. I would definitely, if you're looking for something, um, the vanilla definitely comes through almost kind of bakery-esque without mm, being over sweet. Yeah. So this is nice. But so far, Ariel, it's definitely my oh, favorite. Yeah. Yours too? I think so. All right, next we have the man himself in honor of his <laughs> 90th birthday. Hope he doesn't smell old. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mickey scent is called You're a Pal, Mickey. A forever friend deserves a fitting fragrance and this blue but dapper celebration of green apple, orange blossom, and fresh spring air. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so let's see if it smells awesome. Not as awesome as I thought. Really? It's not as citrusy as I thought. I guess the fresh spring air scent uh, is what takes away from it being overpowering yeah. citrus. So if you like something with the elements of fruity but not overpowering, then this is perfect. It's very subtle. So it's not an overpowering scent, which can really be nice because some people are sensitive to strong smells. So that's not a bad thing. This one I'm excited about. This scent is called Mulan, true to your heart. All right, I always love an excuse to get that 98 Degrees song stuck in my head. Believe it, do it. Bring this brave heart to life and find your own brand of courage in plum blossom, white tea, and redwood. 
up. Let's see. Let's try it. This is nice. <laughs> Almost has um, like a cinnamony undertone. It's kind of floral, but with almost like a cinnamon-esque feel. Tom, you okay. smell and let me know if you can make sense of what I'm trying to describe. Yeah, yeah, it does smell like flowers mixed with like a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, so it's like a more masculine floral scent, which can yeah. be really great because some people don't want something so, quote, girly or mm. feminine going on in a, maybe a main room in the house. And I would definitely recommend Mulan for that. All right, next we got Belle. Is she gonna smell Ooh. like old books? Doesn't look like it. They went the rose route. They went the rose route, and that's not a bad thing. And they did keep her yellow, which is definitely oh. cool. This scent is called Enchanted Rose. Write your own chapter. Rose petals, passion fruit, and sandalwood offer endless inspiration for those who dare to dream. Oh. This is nice. It's almost, uh, to me, it, it says rose petals, passion fruit, and sandalwood. But to me, it tastes like, it smells like a tame pineapple smell. So <laughs> it, it does have a fruity feel. I'm going to let Tom smell it. Yeah. It, you know, it, it's has, nice. Yeah. It's not over berry. It's, this is a really nice scent. I know, I need to be more descriptive, <laughs> but I'm not good with, like, descri describing fragrances it's Smells. hard to do sometimes but for me that's what i linked it to it almost was like uh, a pineapple vanilla type of feel it was very nice well, let's go to the og princess herself you know hmm. who that is cinderella Cindy. And she invented the happily ever after so let's see what that <laughs> smells like and she's of course blue Ooh. find your fairy tale complete with storybook ending and a sweet subtly romantic bouquet of gardenia Forget me not and frosted lemon. Frosted lemon. You What's say? a frosted lemon? I don't know. It does have a frosty feel to it. This is very floral. Like I was saying um, that Mulan was more of a tame floral. This is what you'd get if you like a strong floral scent. It's very nice. Ooh, yeah. yeah, it has like a. Mm, I'll make a cleanness yes, to yes, it. Yes, it does. And the last one is Mickey's main gal. Oh. So is she 92? You know what I mean? Probably. As well? Or is she a little younger? Maybe a little younger. And her scent <laughs> is called Love and Kisses. And oh. it's pink on the back. And the sweetest girl is the one you never forget. And this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla captures her everlasting charm. Let's see if that's true. <laughs> This is nice. I'm not a fan of vanilla, and you do smell it in this, um, but it's like equal. It's it's 75% fruity, 25% vanilla is how I would describe it, which is like pretty good, a pretty good balance. <laughs> so what is? Let's see what Tom thinks. Yeah, I like it. I like, it, but my favorite is Ariel. Uh, if I had to pick which ones <laughs> to order, it would be Ariel. Belle and Cinderella. Those would be my top three. Number four would definitely be this Minnie Mouse one. Um, I also got something else before I show you how to load them in the warmers. These are um, called Scentsy Scent Packs. And what I like to do with these, I'm gonna just rip it open. So these, if you're a Disney fan, these are similar to like the, um, Disney Tokyo, Disney uh, Asia, Disney Parks, they have the Ufufis with the little beads inside. That's what these are. So Sensi makes uh, stuffed animals like Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Minnie and Mickey. These can go inside them, but also what I like to do is I just get the pack and I like to hang it in the closet and it makes the closet smell fresh and like the fragrance that you picked up. So I got two of these. Um, I'll let Tom know the secrets for the coat closet because oh. that, you know, needs it. <laughs> <laughs> so these I wanted to get while I was ordering Disney stuff. And now I'll show Sounds you good. how to use the warmer. So the fragrance I'm going to use today is the Minnie Mouse one, Loving Christmas Minnie. 
I had my warmer already burning here, and that's because I wanted to take the wax I already had in it out. So what you would do is you would warm up your warmer, take a little fancy spatula, and scoop it right out. And that's when it just has a soft melt on the bottom, and the whole thing is melted because then you're just going to have <laughs> so I'm going to break off, this is a larger warmer and I wanted to explain, this is an empty warmer they sell, so you can decorate it yourself. So I have these little guys, um, what are they called again, Tom? Bounce ball? No, oh, the little figures. The little yeah, they have a name, but now Disney makes an equivalent called Disney Dorables, so... I plan to get some of those mixed with the bouncy balls, m mixed with the little wrestling figures, mm -hmm. kind of like wrestling. And you can decorate this any way you want. I used to keep it um, fall freight, like with fall leaves and stuff like yeah. that. Um, I used to keep my Dorothy's Born at Funko Pop in there. <laughs> so you just change up however you like. I'm using three because this is a larger warmer. And then this is going to melt it. The smell is going to radiate and it's going to be really nice and even better is it's going to be Disney themed. And so if you're interested, I'm going to put my link to Scentsy down below. And if you want to know any more about it, just ask me. I love the product even before they were related to Disney. And I think it's a lot of fun and it's a great alternative to candles because if you forget to turn it off, it's totally okay. My sister once left hers on in her classroom over like spring break and mm -hmm. it's fine. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little special Disney Sensi video and stay tuned.